Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lulu, and I'm glad you're here. So I got my new van. I got my new van. My old van died. Well, it didn't die. It just, it's permanently injured. Um, and I got a new van. Um, so I did, I, it's in my garage right now. I picked it up last night. I've done a little evaluating, and it seems like I'm going to have a bit of a challenge uh, working this out because uh, oh, all that under the floor storage is now not going to be under the floor. That's big. It's really big. So I'm going to have to really give this a lot of thought and I'm going to take you along for the day and um, we'll see what we'll see what I come up with. I've been looking around at just stuff I already have that I can put in there, uh, ways that I can organize things. Um, which is just going to be, I'm just going to get myself on the road for now. And then when I get back after this trip, then I'm going to build it out for real. And that will be a blast. I can't wait. Uh, but I'm going to have my breakfast right now and my tea. I'm going to get myself nourished for this hard, wonderful day of work. So here is the new van. She's shiny and new and all mine. Um, it's a decent size in comparison to the minivan that I just moved out of, uh, the footprint's a little small. The footprint is definitely smaller, but the cubic feet is bigger. Now I can't really take advantage of all that cubic feet because a lot of it is over my head and next to uh, all up high and I'm not building out for this once I can build out, I can make use of all that space that's that's um, more spacious than the minivan. Um, but for right now, it's going to be tight because I'm going to be on the bottom half of this for storage. So, um, but I love it and it's adorable. Now, this piece of wood that's leaning against the wall in my garage is... Um, a three quarter inch piece of plywood. It's four feet by six feet and it's covered with 12 by 12 vinyl flooring, um, stick on peel and stick tiles. And what I use that for when I turned 60 years old, I decided to take tap dancing lessons. So this was my at home tap dance floor. So I had this up in the floor of my bedroom and I just tap danced on it and learned and right in front of a big mirror and it was a blast. And then um, I kind of got busy and um, I go in and out of it now. I've been back at it a little bit, um, but I've been storing this big dance floor down in my garage. Well, it just so happens that it's four feet wide and the wheel wells in between uh, it, the space in between the wheel wells is four feet <laughs> and the length of it is about seven feet and this is six feet. So didn't it just slide right in there? It just slid right in there. It sat there and it's okay that it's a little short um, for this throw together build. And um, I'm grateful that that was just right there, just waiting for me to use. I'm so grateful. I thank goodness for this uh, space heater. It is so cold, so I'm, I'm we're so challenged here because I'm trying to do a build in the ice cold. <laughs> I got this space heater, this little space heater, trying to heat a two car garage, and obviously it's not heating it, but it's it sure is taking the edge off. So here I go, here I go. I'm going to do the best I can on throwing something together that's as usable as possible temporarily. And here it is, right in the van. It fits absolutely perfectly, and it's a finished vinyl flooring. <laughs> you know, I mean, just some things just go together just so sweetly, just so sweetly. So now what we did was we needed to take seven inches off the bed. Did I want to take seven inches off the bed? No, because the bed is a regular length and I like a regular length bed. 
but I could have a regular length bed in there and it would have it would have been at the length of it it would have made it so that on that side of the van I wouldn't be able to get in it would have blocked it would have blocked and the blue eddy is going to block the other side I don't I don't want both sides blocked so what I'm going to do temporarily this is temporary is I taken seven inches off the bed so the bed is going to be my height and it's a good thing I'm a side sleeper <laughs> I'm a side sleeper and I sleep in the fetal position so I don't need a six foot bed although I like a regular length bed like anybody else so what we did was we cut seven inches and then um, what Bob did was he took that whole front those two sides off and we inserted inserted that whole top piece right back on the bed <clears throat> and we made it seven inches shorter but we didn't compromise all of this uh all of the things that we had here going on Over the okay. I think we should do the jigsaw for this. No, you can do it with that. You just got to go real slow. This did, I don't think it went all the way through. We, we can just figure that out. No, just just go through it now. Well, no. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. I, look at the video you're taking. Oh. What a shit job you're doing. Hi, it's Bob. What a <laughs> shit job you're doing. So here is a, sh a shelf that holds those fabric cubes and it's in my garage. It came from my, it was in my daughter's room. She didn't want it anymore. So she put it down into the garage and said, do you want this? And I said, sure, just throw it in the garage. I'll put stuff in it. It's been there. She found it on the side of the road. So she gets it off the side of the road. <laughs> and then I throw it in the garage and just throw junk in it. And now I'm like, wow, this could really work for storage in this temporary build. This is a temporary build because this is definitely too wide. It take, comes out because of the wheel well. It comes out too far into the space for it to be permanent, but I'm going to work with it. Now, we Bob said, and it's true, I, I probably wouldn't have thought of this. He said, this is all just like particle board. You know, it's it's as far as this holding up to the um, the the uh, the you know driving on the car and the bumpy roads and stuff. He says the whole thing is probably going to fall apart. So I found a couple of scrap pieces of wood in the garage, and we cut them for the back. We made a backing just to really kind of support the whole thing. So we made these two pieces of wood, um, only because they were just scraps and they're nice and thin. And we put glue on all the edges. There's Bob putting glue. And then we nailed. We put little teeny nails all around um, after the glue. So that should give it a lot of support for the road. And I'm going to go out to Target. And I'm going to buy 8 11 by 11 by 11 fabric cubes. And that's going to hold a lot of stuff. And I was so grateful because my little portable toilet fits in one of those cubbies. My coffee maker fits into one of those cubbies. And also um, my pressure cooker. I was like, oh, God, it's so good. So this roof rack comes with these big black steel loops on the top and I suppose that's to like strap things on which would be wonderful I don't know what I would strap on but when I pulled into my garage the first time I heard and I was like no I thought it was the ceiling 
<laughs> I forgot about the roof rack. I forgot about those big black loops. And look at it, just completely dented the top of my, uh, the top, the top frame of my garage. Well, we'll fix that. That's for another day. But Bob took all of those off of me. Uh, they were hard. See, there's a lot of these projects, like, I can do, I can, I know what needs to be done, but I don't always have the strength to, to do what needs to be done. And he, he was struggling getting these things off. So he got them all off. And uh, now the, now it goes in and out of the garage just fine. So here we have it. Slid right into this van is that cubby that has those supportive backs on it. And there is my bed that's seven inches shorter. And as you can see, I have a very, very narrow aisle there. Um, in my minivan, I was able to get on my hands and knees and crawl through there. But also, I made sure, you know, that cabinet that was in that minivan was custom made. And I made sure it only came out five inches on the floor. So I had all that space. But what I really like about this, that I think that I think this is going to work temporarily, is that at least my feet can go down there. I can sit on the bed. And I can put my feet there and face all this storage. So that's going to work out really well, I think, temporarily. Hello again. So things are coming along, although um, I'm kind of in chaos right now <laughs> because I have stuff everywhere trying to figure out how all this stuff is going to work. And I need to weed out some things. And I just need to rethink some things. Um, so I have the cargo bag back out on my bed. If you could see in this other video where I had the cargo, when I was getting myself road trip ready, I got the cargo bag out and I figured everything I needed. And, you know, a big part of that was my cushions for my bed expansion, but that doesn't exist anymore. Um, taking my air stepper, that's not going to work out anymore because it's just too much room for the things I need to take with the uh, without my storage inside being maximized. So I am winging it and I'm going to make it work and I'm going to just uh, roll with it because um, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go have fun. <laughs> I want to go meet my people and have fun and, uh, and, and I want to feel the sun and I want the sand between my toes. So I'm going to go and um, I'm going to make this work. So we don't have, we, I haven't bolted anything down to the floor yet because I'm still waiting on the perfect design for everything. And then once it feels really right, when I'm, when all the stuff is in there and I'm in there and I feel, I just feel it, you know, and I can imagine and feel it, um, then I'll say, this is it. And then we'll start bolting things down. So my friend Bob is coming over again on um, Tuesday. So um, uh, Monday, my mechanic is going to see if he can turn my chair around. He's not really positive he can do that. So if not, that kind of, that's going to matter a lot about the arrangement. So that's why I have Bob come, Bob come on Tuesday. And if all goes well, I'd like to leave on Wednesday. So what I'm doing today is I'm going through all the belongings and I'm going through every item and I'm really considering how much space it takes up, what bin it's going to go in, where the bin fits, um, you know, how, um, how everything is going to be, uh, be able to be bolted down and secure and all the bins and stuff so i have um, a lot of that little stuff that i don't need help with i can just do i can do all that stuff all that thinking nobody can think better about the way lulu wants things than lulu <laughs> because i want things lulu's way <laughs> so um i don't need any advice on this end uh but i do need help with things that i'm not strong enough to do and also um I'm always open to, you know, ideas, better ideas on maybe some structural things that, that I don't understand and like physics things, like when driving and just thinking with physics and, um, 
so Bob, he can just like fix anything. So he can just do, he can do anything and fix anything. So he's, um, and he's a very good friend. So, so he'll be here Tuesday and, uh, I'm trying, you know, when I started this YouTube channel, I figured I was starting a YouTube channel and learning all of that and doing the filming and trying to figure out thumbnails and, and all that. And, and then I was planning for a trip and that was kind of like, those two things were really keeping me busy. Now I'm still doing those two things and I'm doing a new build. <laughs> I wasn't planning on this. So I'm just doing the best I can as far as, um, documenting this. And I, I just, I had the camera down in the garage with Bob and I, and I just, I was like, I can't focus on this camera. I mean, we would sawing things and figuring things out and lugging things and uh that's why i just took some snapshots and did a voiceover i think that 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 works i hope um because that's probably what i'm gonna do from now until i get on the road because once i get on the road you know it's gonna be a lot about just it's gonna be so much quieter <laughs> It's going to be, I'm just going to be driving and I'm going to be cooking and I'm going to be just pulling over and going for walks and it's going to be a whole different feel. But until then, it's a little cray cray, you know, so, uh, but it's, it's fun and I'm, I am enjoying it and I'm enjoying this, um, organizing everything and trying to, um, just making decisions, just making decisions as I go along. Is this worth the real estate that it takes up? Is this worth the real estate that it takes up? <laughs> because real estate's at a premium. So um, until next time, um, bye for now.